Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to go ahead and clean off the countertop. I'm going to haul some of the items from my Instacart. I am going to change I am going to change, but I just wanted to kind of clean everything because the groceries were sitting in the garage for like maybe 10 or 15 minutes. This particular grocery could not sit outside because they had like milk and things like that. I also have a haul coming from Container Store. I'm so excited just to kind of get you guys on board and excited with me. Look at this. <gasps> this goes over the sink like so. And then I also, oh, let me not put it there. Hold on. I also have this. Look at this. I actually recorded this yesterday, but you guys will see it for a couple of days. Look at that. <gasps> I'm excited. All right, let me go ahead and change, and then I'm going to put all the coffee stuff here that way you guys can see it. So here are all the items that I ordered to go in my new coffee station. I'm just going to show you guys really quickly like where I'm going to house them, but I wanted to kind of go over with you guys really quickly. So I have the Dunkin' Donuts. I'm not a huge fan of the Starbucks coffee. I'm going to have to go in there and drink something to figure out what I like, but I really love their cappuccinos. So once I figure out what coffee it is, I can do that one. But for now, I'm pretty comfortable with these, so I decided to go ahead and get these, um, these uh, K-Cups. And... Um, if you've been on my channel before, you've seen these also because this is the same selection that I had before. So I did hazelnut, I did vanilla, and lastly, I did caramel, okay? Um, for the syrups, I have um, salted caramel, and then I have the classic, just depending on how I'm feeling, to do this one here, all right? And then for the creamers, I did the coffee made. I cannot remember if it's coffee made that I got before, but um, when I went online, I, was like, I don't know if they showed me everything they have, but whenever I get a chance and I go into um, Publix, I'll take a look at it again. I think I have some more of that Clorox stuff on there. But anyway, um, I have the caramel latte, and then I have the French vanilla, which I'm really excited. I can't wait to have coffee. I haven't had coffee in a minute. And then I also got some Ready Whip. And I have this one in the um, almond, and then this is the regular one, because the kids, if I make them, you know, hot chocolate or something. And then I just got the Publix brand um, creamer. I don't know why I got this one. And then I also have milk, and then I have water to go into, um, I believe it's distilled water to go into the um, Keurig. I'll show you guys. So, um, I just purchased two of this right here, which is two gallons of distilled water. That way when I'm making my coffee, I know that the filter won't get like too dirty really fast and stuff. The last thing that I picked up was the cinnamon sugar. I got this one so, you know, when I get done making my coffee and stuff, I can just, you know, sprinkle me a little, you know? So yeah, that's pretty much right now how this looks. I'm going to show you guys where I'm going to house these things. So this is pretty much where the coffee maker is gonna go. I am gonna move the fruit. I am going to move the paper towel. I have to see, I did not measure the width. I just knew it was gonna fit here and I was already comfortable moving everything. So depending on how things fit is where it's gonna go. And then this drawer right here, you guys, I'm not 100% sure, but I was thinking if anything to put the K-cups in here. See, and I did get a little organizer to organize everything so that way that can be in there. And then I thought about putting like all the cups, the syrups and everything down here, which, okay. And then when I go down a little bit, you can see that I have the um, roller racks. So pretty much these roll out. Right now I have all of my um, rings in here. I am gonna move them. I purchased something to organize them, to put them in a little case. They're gonna go above in the cabinet. They have not arrived just yet. So right now it's in here, but I was gonna add like all of my syrups and the, the, the different and the different attachments in here. But let me go ahead and get that so you can see that. I just grabbed the K-Cups so you guys will at least get to see what that looks like. This is um, this is really similar to how I had it in the last house. The only difference is it was in the butler's pantry. So when this house was being built, I was like, okay, I can have my little coffee maker over here. And I can fix everything in that station. That way when I come in here, everything is in its proper place. I don't have to look and find and search for things. And I didn't buy like a whole bunch of stuff. What I did is I have two cups. And then I have all of the servings for things. It ain't like there's a whole bunch of people in the house. So, you know, I didn't need to bombard with like a lot of things. But 
figured I could change. One day I could do French vanilla, the next day I could do hazel, you know, depending on how I was feeling. I am really, really excited for my coffee maker to come. I was going to buy it, but then my friend was like, I didn't get you anything for your house, so I'll send you something, which basically ended up paying about 80% of the machine. I did get it on Amazon. If you guys are interested, I'll leave it in the description box down below because online, the Keurig was... 219 and on Amazon it was 189 so that was a really good price so I bought it from there so here goes the cups in here and then you can see my syrups down there so things are going to be organized things are going to be in place it's just right now it's just hard to get around and go anywhere and do anything but it will be in order I promise sorry you guys I don't have my tripod so it's on my candle but I ordered a dress from thread up if you guys don't know what thread up is is an online consignment no today's video is not sponsored i did work with them in the past and i fell in love with the site just because i was able to find some really cute work things and i saw this and i shared it on i shared it on my um instagram when i was live and i said let me go order before one of y'all sneak up behind me and go get it <laughs> i'm about to try it on real quick to see what it looks like i knew from the moment i laid eyes on this thing it was gonna be amazing it was just gonna be amazing and guess what it's amazing i love the shoulders i love oh oh my gosh you guys it is incredible oh look at the back it has the same little detail i mean i have to put on a bra i do apologize but oh you guys it's so I would want it in every color, white, black, cause it's popping, it's popping. I have another package, let me put my sweater on real quick. Let me change back out. The next package, is it belongs to my son. Let me have him open it, and then I'll show you guys, cause uh, he's been begging to go outside. Yes. I got you something. <laughs> Let's see. Here, open it. What do you think it is? Stop looking. What do you think it is? Uh, it's too small to be a basketball hoop. You never asked for a basketball hoop. Than kind of big, it is big. Okay, hold on. Oh, Ready? Open it. Oh, the whole thing! And they're black and yellow. I, I said it took me about like an, an hour or so, 45 minutes to look on top of these. I hope they fit because they look big. It's either a size eight. You want to try them on, you guys? So I got him some rollerblades. I put them on the counter because they're clean. They ain't, they ain't never been worn before. After today, they can't go on there. You want to try them on and see if they fit? You let me go get some socks. Okay. All right, well, let, let him go get some shots. Yeah, it says men's size eight. It should fit you because you wear size eight. And if it, if it, if it don't, you're just gonna have to strap the thing tight. They said it's like uh, ice skates or something. If you guys are interested for your own kids, I will leave the link where I got these in the description box. But these were actually $89, which was surprising because a lot of them were like 100, 120. I was shocked at how expensive they were. I was like, Gee. but he had he's been wearing my skates that I got from Too Faced. I, when I first got it, I didn't want them messing with it because I was like, y'all are too, y'all are too um small. Well, at least Aiden was anyway. I didn't want him to hurt himself. But now that they are bigger and Tris is bigger, I'm just going to lace them real quick, Tris. Go down the driveway. Ooh. <laughs> 
Y'all, I don't know how to roll blade to save my life. How you like them? How do you like them? I love them. <laughs> I gotta get used to it. On to the next thing that I bought you guys. And again, I'm sorry, I don't feel like getting my tripod. But I picked this up, which is the snuffer and the Kandu wick clipper. I found these on Amazon, but I did not buy these on Amazon. I actually got them from a different company. And I don't believe I'm going to be using the snuffer. I think I'm just going to be using the clip because I just used the lid of the candle. But I got it so it could look really pretty in the kitchen once I put it on the... Um, the Lazy Susan, and then I have a gold set for upstairs, which I love, 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 love. I know I look crazy and probably look tired too, it's because I am not really tired, just kind of irritated. So, my closet is in storage, and I had the bright idea to paint my closet. So, I'm like, let me paint my closet because I no longer want it to be the, the antique white with, you know, the whole situation and so I paint my closet white because the guy who built my closet he's like yeah he'll paint it get it done and I had a price in my head from you know working with him in the past uh let me call this child honey I do not want him sorry somebody mentioned um me not looking into the camera stuff I'm like, that's because my kids be outside and I can see them from all the windows, which is why I love and I selected this house. Does he have his phone with him? He doesn't because he's not answering. Give me a second, y'all. Let me go tell this child. So, um, these companies basically have been, I feel like, overcharging me. And even to move the closet, you know, I feel like they've been overcharging me. Um... I feel like I I feel like I've been like getting overcharged. Even to move the closet, I feel like I've been getting overcharged. The very first time I moved my closet, which was from Hinesville to Savannah, it was like six hundred and fifty dollars, which is which is understandable because it's almost like an hour drive, like forty five minutes. If you've ever taken that drive, it's like a forty five minute drive. So I'm like, cool, that's fine, whatever. Got it done. Plus I had the extra pieces made. Fine, whatever. Fast forward. To now, I'm literally getting my closet moved like 15 minute drive. Oh, he's in the house now. 15 minutes, y'all, 15 minutes, and they wanna charge me $850, $900. And I'm like, what? And then on top of that, I still have to get it painted. So I was just like, this, this is not it. I wish I had the strength of a thousand men because I would just pick it up and move it and be done with it. Cause at this point, I feel like I'm just like stressed out about it. What's going on? Thank you. You welcome. I'm gonna take a break. Yeah, I don't want you to go. You must have felt my spirit, cause I was like, please don't let this child go. Don't go across the street. Yeah. So go to the end of the block where the stop sign is at, and then come back to the cul-de-sac, cause the cars don't come down here. But if you go this way, they be speeding. Yeah. And they may not necessarily see you as fast as you're riding. You good? Yeah. Um, but anywho in the midst of all of that you know i'm going over paint colors don't get me wrong i love what i'm doing all the time i'm super grateful all the time every single day i wake up you know but then some days i wake up and i'm just some days i'm like oh my gosh why can't you just have regular basic as eyes so that way everything can just look regular and you don't have to go around trying to change things because it's like you know, like why do you need to do a closet? You can just use the closet in your master bedroom. But nothing fits. <laughs> nothing fits in there. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to like, oh my gosh. And then I don't even see the reason why I would go. I keep saying like, you know what? I'm going to go to Ikea. But then it's like, why would I go to Ikea and purchase pressed wood? When I have a 100% wood cabinetry that is just absolutely gorgeous. That's six years old. It feels like it's getting better with age. And I'm just like, why can't you just be regular, Nadia? Why can't you just be regular? Get you an Ikea closet. Leave your low luxury vinyl floors down. 
stick with your little flat paint on your wall and you'll think about this in like two years anyway to make a very long story short i'm gonna get my closet moved i'm gonna get my closet painted but after that i'm not spending any more money because i'm done i'm done i'm calling it quits i you know with the whole coronavirus thing like i had no intentions in even dipping into my savings whatsoever because i'm just like savings is exactly what it is savings but i did have a real real life emergency that came up and i had to pay for that so that just kind of made me feel very queasy to the stomach because i'm just like oh my gosh i have to replace that money that's just how i personally am you know like if i spend it like i need to replace it so i was just like oh my god i have to replace it so now in my mind i'm like i have to replace it i have to replace it i have to replace it so like this extra charge for these things that are happening is just not something that I even calculated or factored into anything. So yeah, I'm a little irritated. I'm a little bothered, um, but it's all good. Day in the life of trying to get your house together. But this is not to make y'all feel sorry for me or like what was me type of situation. I'm just kind of letting you know, like, you know, there's always hiccups like my door. There's always hiccups that happen when you're getting your house done. So I, I never want to come on here and portray this like, Oh, everything is just so great. Don't get me, don't get me wrong now. <laughs> there are some days where it's just like, yes, price is right, work is right, everything looking good. But then there's days like today and yesterday where I'm really just not in like the best mood, but I'm still getting things done. I put my little coffee thing up. Kids are good. Got some food done and stuff like that. You know, I still have to continue my responsibilities, but. The way that I'm feeling on the inside, I just want to lay down. So I'm probably going to go to bed early tonight and just like crash and just yesterday I didn't eat. I went live and I pretty much ate at like 2 o'clock in the morning. I had eggs in my toast and I did like a, a faux cinnamon toast thing, cinnamon uh, toast, uh, French toast type of situation and stuff because I realized I didn't eat all day. I literally laid in the bed. I was on the phone with people all day long in the morning, vendors, client, dealing with my own stuff, and I was just through. By 2 o'clock, I slept. I didn't wake up till maybe 5, 36, and thank God, because my ex, she was dealing with the kids, and she did everything like that, or whatever, but I just slept, because I was just so through with the day, and I was just, to, and then today... I thought the guy was going to give me a better price because he did labor for me in the past and I tipped him and his fee I thought was reasonable and he was more than the other person and I was like y'all getting a little pricey <laughs> like what happened anywho you guys it is 3 30 I have to get on two more calls today so let me go brush my hair and look like something that way I can handle this stuff. But um, y'all don't have to ask me what I'm doing next because I'm telling y'all now, once my closet gets installed, I'm not doing nothing. I have a collab coming up. Oh, you know what? It's actually really good because I have a collab coming up with containerstore.com, right? So all of that is going to be organized. I'm going to do a full detailed organization with my closet. So that's it's still going to be really good content. But furniture and all that stuff, like that is on pause. The kid's bed, that's coming. But like, really smart, Nadia. Deconstructing a perfectly gut home. You know what? I'm going to take it back. Because I just said, why can't I have regular eyes? God, take that back. I don't want regular eyes. I want the eyes that you gifted me with. That's what I want. I'll take that back. I know right now I'm just really frustrated. But God gifted me with some really, really good, amazing eyes. So don't don't take it away, Jesus. Let me keep them. Let me keep them. Let me keep them. Let me just slow my road a little bit. Because I am doing a lot. And I am by myself. And I have to rem remember that. It's different. It's different when you just trying to, you know, do these type of things by your lonesome. You can't move as quickly as when you got two, you know. Oh, y'all. It's a wrap. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to probably lay here for the next hour or so because you know throw the day away just throw it away y'all have a good one i'll talk to you later don't feel bad for me i'm fine my, my ceiling is painted my light fixtures coming my walls is done i'm staying busy i'm working you know 
my life ain't bad. I'm just being really spoiled right now because things ain't going my way. That's the honest truth. <laughs> I'm being honest. I'm being honest. I'm just being spoiled right now. But y'all have a good day. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.